So this was the guy that we were just talking about. He said, bro, you told me to sell at 60k. I would have lost 50 by your advice and that. Hey, it's all a gamble on that. It's all a gamble. Me, like I just said, yeah, you've got to like 110, 110 or something like that. Yeah, You can, I, I'm saying take the money out, yeah, or sell it, whatever the procedure is on that. I'm saying take the money out now at 110. You're going to leave it in there. Yeah, you probably will get to, you might get to 200. But what if you don't? Because remember, last time you went from 100 or something down to 65 or something like that. You, you're at 110 now. You might have a repeat of that. Nah, man, quit while you're ahead. I don't care if you can get to 200. Forget that. Forget that, man. Quit while you're ahead. You're in a position where you could um, start buying properties and that and set yourself up for real. Do that, man. Don't, 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 don't um, keep, keep leaving your money in there, man. Because at what point do you take out the money? Okay, so you're on 100 now, yeah? All right, you're going to get to 200, then what? You're going to get to 300, then what? Well, you're going you to get to a million and be like, you know what? Just 1.1 million. Nah, man, at some point, yeah, you've got to take your winnings. Just like that deal or no deal analogy I gave. I see people on the program all the time. They get to 50 grand. They can walk away 50 grand. No, I'm going to keep going, keep going. Blood, take the Ross Clark 50 grand. And that was 50 grand back in like 011. I used to watch it when I was in prison and that. 50 grand back then. Take the Ross Clark money. I think 50 grand back then might be like the equivalent of like 65 grand now or something like that. Someone, someone jump on the inflation calculator or something and work it out. But um, yeah, man, I, I, I'll, I'll take out that money, man. One thing I didn't rate though about the people on deal or no deal is I used to watch it obviously like I was saying in prison and that. And even certain times I used to come from work and that and it used to be on at like five o'clock or something, whatever time it starts. And um, there'll be people that will potentially win 30 grand and that. They're like, oh, this is going to be life-changing money. How the fuck can 30 grand be life-changing money? Someone could drop 200 grand on me right now. That will not be life-changing money. The reason why it's life-changing money to these people, even though it was back in 2011, it doesn't fucking matter. To be fair, no, it was later than 2011 when I used to come home from work. My mum was not working until easily like, yeah, 2012, whatever, um, 2013, 14. But anyway, the reason why it's life-changing to them, 30 grand is life-changing to them, is because they're not investing that money in anything. They're just going to go on all these different holidays. They're just going to buy the designer brands. Whatever was popping back then, fucking Ralph Lauren and Ed Hardy, all that nonsense. And that. They're just going to spend and squander the money. So obviously, of course, their life is going to change in that. But if you get 30 or 40 or 50 grand in that and you invest it, your life is not going to change. Your, your life is not going to change, man. So when, when I see people talking about, oh, yeah, man, there's life changing money. I just know that. They, they got a consumer's mindset. All they're going to do is blow the Ross Clark money. They're going to blow the Ross Clark money. 